Canal 2060 y tal como les prometimos, ahora vamos a hablar del nuevo Kia K900 2015, el auto de más lujo jamás fabricado por el fabricante coreano, con el cual está eh, siguiendo los pasos, digamos, a la inversa de Mercedes Benz, que presentó el CLA por debajo de 30 mil dólares de Maserati Ghibli, que curiosamente tiene el mismo precio que este Kia K900 y es un auto muy interesante. Así que para eso vamos a hablar con Michael Sprague, que es el vicepresidente de ventas y de mercadeo de Kia para Estados Unidos, que nos invitó para estar en California, en Newport Beach, para la presentación del Kia K900 2015. Well, Michael, thank you very much first for having us here in a beautiful Newport Beach at the Pelican Hill Resort, one of the most exclusive and beautiful resorts in the U.S. for the presentation of the equally beautiful Kia K900. Um, you're entering a, a different territory for Kia, and this is something that some people are, you have people talking about this. Sure, <laughs> and in a good way, Yeah, because people are so surprised by, by what we're doing. I mean, for the, we've been in the U.S. for the last 20 years, and we continue to challenge traditional automotive thinking, both from a product standpoint and from a marketing communication standpoint. And this is the latest example, an all-new luxury sedan from Kia. Yeah, uh, some of uh, a former executive at uh, Mercedes-Benz actually used to say, that it was easier to get up, get down from the penthouse to the lobby than going from the lobby to the penthouse. But I think that thing, that has changed because technology, good thinking, I mean, like good talent in design and engineering, all that has like changed the whole game for everybody. And that's this car is an example of that, right? Yes, a absolutely. What we're, what we're asking people to do is challenge that traditional convention of what a luxury car is. So many people think it's all about tradition and heritage. And to your point, what we're saying is, no, it's different. It's about design. It's about technology. It's about quality. It's about these new and up-and-coming brands that people want to be associated with. Yeah, and some people also, um, I mean, people who have a lot of money maybe don't want to show it off that much, right? And, and I think this is maybe one of those examples. In, like, they said, okay, I see this car. I know about money. I see this is... The most you can spend on this is sixty-six four hundred, right? Sixty-six thousand, yes, exactly. And uh, so people say, I mean, I get a lot for that money. So maybe that's another way of, as you were saying, people seeing luxury in a different way. Yeah, a absolutely, and and you you hit it spot on. There are people who are looking for alternatives to what everybody else has. Everybody has this sense of discovery. Everybody wants to be the first to say, I found it or I've got one first, and that's exactly who we're appealing to. Uh, with the K900. It's people who recognize everything that they're getting because this is fully competitive with every other luxury manufacturer, but at a great value. And that's what's exciting to people. Yeah. And uh, in terms of uh, the, not the initial value, but the residual value, let's say three, five years, uh, what, what's the message for the, for the people? Because there's also talk about that. Yeah, sure, absolutely. In fact, uh, Automotive Lease Guide has given us the, the forecasted residual uh, for this car, and they're telling us it is the highest in the segment. So that's very exciting. They said this is truly a luxury car. And so, you know, we've got now third-party endorsers saying, yes, this is a luxury car. You should have no issues with buying this car. Yeah, uh, so, but it's still, I mean, people's are, people are harder to convince sometimes, right? So uh, what's going to be the strategy for, for convincing those people first to take a look, maybe take a test drive and like ultimately buy this car? Yeah, you're right. It's, uh, so from a marketing standpoint, the, the message that we're communicating to consumers is, is challenge the luxury you know. Take a different approach. Take a different a look at it. And that's why it, it, we uh, launched the vehicle in the Super Bowl. What better platform? 111 yeah. million people watching and we're saying, hey, challenge what you traditionally think of as a luxury car because this is the new luxury so we'll continue to do that we used a uh, kind of a, a spoof off of the matrix movie where uh, Lawrence Fishburne acting as Morpheus challenges Keanu Reeves to you know take the blue pill and go back to the luxury you know or take the red pill and uh, see a whole new world And uh, we did the same thing, but using a blue key versus traditional luxury and a red key, which is the new luxury. So that will continue to play. We'll also get into experiential marketing, making sure that people get into the product and experience it. Yeah. And uh, for what I understand, that uh, commercial was pretty successful, right? Yeah, it was. It, uh, we saw immediate shopping data in third-party sites like Edmunds and AutoTrader. We also, in our own internal data, saw Kia.com search spike dramatically and we also saw opinion for the brand 
rise dramatically. Yeah. Well, uh, thank you very much again, and uh, I guess congratulations. You just got a new title or an addition to your title, right? So you're going to be much busier now. <laughs> yes, exactly, but still uh, promoting these great products. Excellent. Thank you very much, Michael, and I'll uh, see you soon, uh, maybe in New York in the other show. Great. Thanks, Thank Javier. you. Bye.